Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, a former lead designer for McFarlane Toys, Toy Biz, Diamond Select, also a comic book creator, and all the books you see here are from my company, Mella Art World. So please stay tuned for the end of the video to find out how to get these great books. Today we have uh, McFarlane Toys Raven Spawn. Now uh, he's going back and doing older figures from his previous lines. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I came into his company around the time that this figure came out. Well, the original one. So this is a brand new sculpt. Uh, the design on this guy, uh, I thought it was pretty interesting and pretty cool. He's got a lot of uh, sculpted detail. But um, yeah, we're going to be covering the pros and cons on this figure. Um, right off the bat though, uh, I'll let you know, I did pick this thing up for like half price. I got him for around $13 over at Target. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I picked them up because, uh, I don't know, I, I wasn't really going to, but uh, for that price, it's kind of hard to beat. And I do like the kind of um, the sculpted work that was done on this figure. And he, he's got a pretty good presence to him. So um, I'm, I wasn't disappointed when I got it. But uh, does this figure have issues? Oh, yeah, it does. So here he is right out of the box with his accessories in hand. Uh, this is everything he comes with, a base and two weapons. So, uh, like I said, he does have a, a pretty good presence about him. I kind of like the design of him, the kind of stance that he that he has. He was sculpted as if he was like a solid piece, and then they put the articulation in afterwards. So, um, yeah, you could get him into some pretty decent poses. I will say that. But, um, yeah, he, he has a number of... Um, uh, a number of issues uh, regarding, uh, all, I'd say, paint application. I'd say um, some of the separate pieces, like his shoulders, the way that uh, it kind of, um, they're pinned into the shoulder itself into like the joint, and then it kind of overlaps with the cape when you move it around. Yeah, it's, it's interesting and odd, um, but yeah, we'll get into it. So for articulation... He's got a pretty good um, ball joint for the head. He gets some side to side. He looks down. Um, it's okay for what it is. Right here, issue number one. Um, you go to move the arm a little bit too much, and it will pop out. Then what I was saying before, the uh, that kind of shoulder piece, you got to tuck it under the cape. It's weird, but he does have a bicep um, cut. He's got double hinge for the elbow. He's got your standard kind of ball joint. And yeah, it's like a softer piece that kind of goes over the hand. So you can kind of hide the joint, which isn't too bad. But yeah, that shoulder is, wow, what a what a pain in the ass that is. So yeah, uh, his arms will pop off. You could get him on pretty easily. A little bit of force and you get it right back in. Um, he goes back really well. Forward, not so great. He's got pretty good side to side, the hula hoop action. So that's good. Um... He, uh, the legs are pretty good, but it tells you if you push that a little too much, you might have a leg pop off as well. That didn't happen to me, but, uh, but yeah, double hinge, uh, for the, for the knee. He's at the ball joint for the foot and toe articulation as well. And, uh, yeah, he's got the upper thigh rotation as well, but, um, yeah, uh, this figure, I kind of like it, kind of don't, but, uh, like I said, if, if you're looking for a statuesque type of figure, this is pretty good. So here he is with, uh, I guess, his main weapon and probably the cooler one out of the two for sure. Uh, both hands go on it. I got to say the paint application is terrible on that weapon. Um, the silver part's fine for like that kind of axe, but this thing has so much uh, sculpted detail. They didn't do a dry brush, a wash, nothing on that, which is a sin because all the work is there. So I don't know, if you're a painter, I would probably go in there and uh, and touch that up, make it pop a little bit more. But this whole figure is like either brown and muddy and, and gray, or I, I don't know, there's so much more that could have been done with this to really make it pop, because like I said, the sculpt work is all there. Uh, this is a figure you're probably gonna be leaving on a shelf, more like I said, you get him one, one cool kind of, um, badass pose and then you're good so here um 
yeah, here are the, here's the other weapon or a better look at it. This is ridiculous. Uh, fixed plastic chain that's molded into a specific shape is stupid. Um, the actual weapon itself, like the was kind of hook side things, whatever, like they're okay. They, they look nice, but this chain is, is r ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it looks like a baby toy. Um, the stand he comes with. Would have been better if Spawn wasn't written on it. What was the point of writing Spawn on there? I don't know. It, it's it's really, really dumb. But uh, see, like this weapon, the sculpt work is really good on it. You know, the skulls, the details, everything that's in there. But it's all one solid color, and then they just paint the blades. What a, what a cheap waste. I'm sorry, cough up a couple of bucks. And, you know, again, what's it going to cost? A couple of pennies to get this painted in, in, in a proper manner for mass production? I mean, that, that was so cheap. Um, the figure himself, like I said, he's also sculpted really nicely. But, again, look, there's no wash on him. There's no dry brush, nothing. Nothing to make the detail pop. It is really stupid. And then you get down to the waist, and like, look at that that chain. Why is that a solid plastic color? And then it's all bright compared to the rest of them. They didn't paint any of those spikes. They didn't do anything. That is like that's that's sad. That's a sin, because whoever sculpted this, they did a really nice job with the sculpt work. The body looks great. So much detail in there, and I don't know. It's just, it's frustrating. And here he is with the far superior spawn figure. Um, like I said, this is probably the my most favorited uh, spawn figure that they've done in recent years. Uh, Multi-jointed. He's from the Mortal Kombat line. Uh, but I think that, yeah, it looks great. The Raven spawn does kind of tower over him a little bit. Uh, and they do look pretty well together, not going to lie. Um, as I said, I really do like the sculpt work on Raven spawn. He's, he's got a good presence, but... Uh, that paint application is, um, wow, it, it really pisses me off. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I might do a wash over the, the belt or something and maybe a dry brush on the rest of them at some point. We'll see if, if you know, I get a little bit of free time. I might do that. But, um, yeah, overall, does he look cool on the shelf? Sure, he really does. The eyes pop, uh, even though the paint job is sloppy on it. It still looks pretty good because it is like that bright green. Um, yeah, the belt, there is a contrast with the silver, which is fine. But again, uh, uh, he went very cheap. He went very cheap on uh, saving, trying to save paint. I don't know what he was thinking or what he was doing. But yeah, Ty, go back to the old drawing board with this one. Uh, Re-release him with a better paint job and uh, put a real chain, not this cheap molded fixed piece because that's retarded. It really is. You know, he's making tons of money. Uh, why are you going so cheap on your own figures? That's ridiculous. But anyway, that's my view on that. Um, but yeah, like I said, the sculpt works great. Um, he's got a good kind of stance and stature to him. You can get him to some pretty okay poses for what it is. The arms do like to jump out of the socket. And depending on how you pose him, you're going to have like the shoulders flap up. So... Um, you got to tuck them underneath for the price i got him at i'd still give him a thumbs up because it does look cool but yeah he has his issues but remember everyone uh be kind to one another be kick ass while you create hi this is vinnie tartamella and uh we have through the woods hardcover book written by frankie tartamella uh all the artwork is done by me it's a beautiful hardcover book to look at this fantastic artwork this is 98 pages, ghost story. Uh, I think everyone's going to love this thing. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, we have another fantastic project here, City of Venus. I wrote this one. I did all the artwork on it. Uh, another fantastic project. Uh, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to all the videos. And uh, yeah, so please check this one out. And uh, thank you very much. Both of these books are available right now, and they ship immediately. So, uh, yeah, take a look at the size difference as well. Uh, one's more in a European format, and the other one's like a standard comic book. And uh, we also have two uh, beautiful art books here, Volume 1 and 2. Uh, these are 52 pages each, 
And it just has just a whole bunch of different stuff in here from uh, your favorite characters, uh, pinups. Um, yeah, pretty much everything and the kitchen sink. So uh, yeah, these are also available and they're on the City of Venus campaign.